What is up guys, Jerry here bringing you episode 2 of my head to head season series called Division 1 Here We Come. We are now in Division 9 after being promoted in the last episode winning all of our games undefeated. But uh, for this first game I decided to be Zenit St. Petersburg. Obviously when uh, the Russian League this season got some very nice players. Kershakov uh, in one of them is the striker. Obviously also got Danny the 5 star skiller and I think it's is it Bystrov or Bistrov? who was playing uh, the right centre attacking mid in this 4-2-3-1 formation. Obviously, I think he's got 94 pace. Uh, very good player. And also got Bruno Alves at the back, who's had a really good uh, tournament for Newcastle in the... For Newcastle, sorry? For uh, Portugal, sorry, in the Euros. But um, we made it 1-0 with a penalty. Kershakov and then Kershakov again there with a lovely little header. Keeper not going to save that to make it 2-0 uh, to us. And then a beautiful ball in. Uh, I think from uh, Lazovic or Krasita, I think it was. I didn't quite catch that. But Kershaw again was there to make it 3 0. And then we make it 4 0 here. Uh, Bistrov with his four star skills with a lovely little Berber spin. But Kershaw decides to take the ball over and slots it into the back of the net. Past the uh, PS uh, Paris Saint Germain keeper to make it 4 0 to us. So uh, a nice, comfortable win. This guy didn't cause me much. Uh, much trouble even though PSG do have a, a very very good side so we get our first three points on the board and our overall record there is 5-0-0 zero, and zero. so uh, we made a really good start to this uh, this series and this season but uh, for the next game I decided to be Borussia Dortmund obviously have won the league twice with uh, won the Bundesliga sorry twice now in two seasons so on top class form and I know a lot of their players are, bit, are wanted by bigger clubs as the striker Lewandowski He's wanted by Manchester United, I think, and scored the opening goal in the year. is actually a good goal for Poland. He makes it 1-0 one, one to us. And then uh, Mario, I don't know, I'm sure how to pronounce this now. I think it's Gautier or something like that, or Gotts or something like that. He makes it 2-0, uh, and then he uses his four-star four skills to effectiveness there with a nice Ronaldo chop inside to make it 3-0 in the 72nd minute. I think, again, I'm playing the uh, a 4-2 3-1 formation in uh, for this. Um, I do like that formation the most. I play that a lot on Ultimate Team with the uh, two centre attacking mids, the centre forward and the two CDMs. I just think it provides a lot more cover uh, for the back four and also um, there's a few more attacking options out wide. Uh, so for the next game I decide to be Brazil who probably not in stats, I think Spain are the best side for st stats wise but in my opinion I played the best probably with uh, Brazil, uh, very good side, obviously got some outstanding players, Thiago Silva at the back, uh, Danny Alves, Neymar, Julio Cesar is questionable, I'm not sure why he's, he, uh, he is, because he's an 85 rated keeper, but just seems to let quite a few in, and uh, I wasn't sure if to bring him out for the first goal, and I did, and it resulted in them scoring with um, David Luiz with a header, but we bring it back before uh, half time, Alexander Pato making it 1-1 uh, one, one. and we ping it back over there Rubinho with a lovely ball again into Pato who just heads another one home he's really really good in here I'm not sure how good he is in real life I haven't really seen him too much uh, for Milan I don't know if he's played too many games from this season he might have been injured but um, yeah it was two good headed goals and then just somehow Josie Basing with a left footed strike out of nowhere makes it 2-2 two, two, and we end up actually drawing the game which is quite disappointing because I thought I uh, Played well, this game deserved the win, but Basinga with an outstanding effort outside the edge of the box. So uh, that's how that this uh, this episode will end. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like, and I'll see you next time.